I'm turning up the volume like that matters. All right, let me see if I can get the light right. Okay. Let's just hope nobody bumps into that. I'm gonna wait a minute. Hi, whoever's watching. Um, all right, guys, so my Vista is filthy, like absolutely disgusting. And so I brought it in my house um, to clean it and my son fell asleep in the car. So I brought my Nuna in and put him in there to um, put him to sleep. And so I have a lot of strollers in my house currently and I thought, it would be really fun really quickly to do a quick comparison of the two because um, there's a lot of similarities when I just look at them off the bat. Um, so I really wanted to do this really quickly. Um, obviously one of the big differences right away though is price because the new Natavo is something like $349 new and especially even the new one with all the updates um, is only $349 and you're just getting a lot of bang for your stroller buck and obviously Appa Baby is pretty much king in stroller land and especially in Boston. Um, so it's kind of fun to see the comparisons and I obviously have them both because I love them both for different reasons. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick comparison of the two. So drop any questions if you have any or you wanna see something while I have them next to each other and hopefully my kids cooperate for a short minute. Um, okay, so I wanted to show you right off the bat that they are really similar in kind of like their overall size. I'm going to do this way so that you can kind of see. Um, this is just a tad longer, but as far as like footprint, they're really similar. Um, they both obviously maneuver amazing. Their back wheels, if you can kind of see, are, um, are very close in size um, and they obviously both offer um, suspension where like some babies is more like built in. You can see the suspension on the new but if you know it bounces. Um, both come with a belly bar included. Um, the only difference is that Nuna, the Nuna Tavo belly bar um, is the car seat adapter. So if you have a new hip out or I don't know about the pivot light, but you can put your car seat right into it. Um, so one of like, I think one of the striking similarities is that they both have humongous canopies just as they are, but then you also have the advantage of having two pop out sun visors um, that come past the belly bar on both strollers. So you have awesome sun protection on both and you have humongous peekaboo windows on both. I know you can't see this as much. Um, Upper Babies is bigger, but they're both mesh peekaboo windows. And then um, something that the Tavo has that Upper Baby doesn't is this huge mesh window in the back so that you've got a ton of airflow going through. This has been really helpful for like summer naps and summer walks. Um, it's a one-handed recline. Put the seat up, you can hear it click and it's one-handed to go back down. You can stop it anywhere you want. And this is approved from birth. This is totally flat, which is really cool. Um, the basket is a good size. There's a little bit of give in the basket, just like Uppa Baby has give in the basket, so you can access it if your child is reclined in a seat, um, which is pretty cool. Um, what else? They both have adjustable handlebars. I have the towel on the tallest setting. Obviously, Abba Baby is taller by like a hair, but this is very comfortable for me. I'm like 5'7", and I like my handlebar up here, just like where it's comfortable for me. And then on the lower setting, you can go all the way down here if you're someone who's on the more petite side. And then the lowest setting is about the same, but Abba Baby still is a hair taller on the higher setting. Um, so yeah, it's a two-handed over here to adjust the handlebar, and it's one-handed here, which is helpful if two parents are switching between pushing constantly. Um, obviously, the Vista can become a double. That's a glaring difference, but like when you're looking at them as two singles, like I feel like when I'm using the Tavo, I don't have to compromise on any of my um, my wants and needs, especially because I'm used to the Vista being my main stroller. Um, so I have a certain like, expectation for my stroller, and I definitely prefer a full-size stroller. So um, it's 
one reason why I just can't part with my Cabo. I'm gonna see if there's any messages. Um, you're gonna, <laughs> yep, you're gonna need to buy a Nuna. It's, I just, I like him, I really do. Um, so I wanna show you guys, let me see. Obviously the Tavo doesn't parent face, but it's a good size seat. If my kids would cooperate, I would put somebody in there, but I don't think either one of them, hi Will. Um, I don't think either one of them wanna go in the stroller currently. Will's like, can you not talk about strollers right now? Um, this is not a swing away bumper bar, but my kids don't really seem to care. It's an adjustable leg rest, and you can also put this part up to make it a bassinet environment. Um, I like having an adjustable leg rest. It's just kind of like preference, and obviously you can adjust it down. Um, but babies just seem more comfortable with their feet up. Um, it's actually difficult ages around like one when they really don't want to be slouched in any way, shape, or form. Um, both are one-handed. Uh, difference is that the Nuna comes with kind of a rubberized handle here. It's um, it's not quite like a foam, it's kind of like a rubberized material and up the, this upper baby is foam. Um, it's just very smooth, I like this a lot. I like the feeling, it's kind of like more wipeable, which I like that. Um, I don't think that the new Metabo comes with any additional accessories. Um, I'm trying to think, I don't think that like rain shield or bug shield come with it. If they do, I wouldn't know because um, I can't seem to remember, but um, if somebody knows that, just let me know. Um, then, let's see, the harness gets a little, of a baby wins in the harness because the harness comes apart and you can make it a three point harness if you choose to, but you're gonna be piecing these together, which is fine if your kiddo's cooperating, but a little bit less fine if you know they don't wanna be restrained. Um, and then both pop open, you know, one click pop open, which is, which is nice, but it is a bit of a process. I guess you could very easily compare this to an upper baby cruise if you weren't that concerned about like parent facing, you kind of compare like, you know, between the two and decide what works better for you. Um, so I'm going to just show you the fold because this has come up a couple times. I think when people are talking about like the city mini or wanting something like more compact, this is lighter. Um, but it, you know, it's definitely on the heavier side for being like a one-handed fold um, when you compare it to like a Biagro or City Mini and stuff like that. Um, so I'm gonna show you the fold for each and then I'll show you like the size of them folded. So I'm gonna just put this one over here. This is the Epa Babies fold, we know well. Um, obviously it's a standing fold to make it more compact. I usually do this way because it's in my trunk. I see sometimes a lot of reviewers putting it down like this, but that doesn't make as much sense for me in my trunk and I'm not trying to like damage this piece right here. Um, so I typically put it up like this in my car to take up less room. Um, so here's of a baby's fold. And then this is the Tavo's fold. It's a one-handed fold. You just go like this and it's down, which is really cool. And then, the advantage of this is that you can pull it if you needed to. It's kind of like they're, to make sure it's locked, Gabrielle. You can pull it if it locks, let me see. My lock is not, there we go. My lock is not engaged. But then you can pull it if you needed to tow it around for whatever reason, um, which is kind of cool. So this is, it doesn't stand when folded, but this is the package. So if you take both of them and you lay them side by side, they're both big folds. And um, that's something I've been trying to get out to people is a picture of them folded. So I'm gonna show you guys the fold side by side. This is, I hope that's a good view. Let me see. Yes, here we go. So they're very um, similar in size for a fold. Um, obviously this is one handed, this is two handed. Similar footprint for your trunk. Um, but definitely awesome for different needs, different reasons. You're definitely getting a stylish stroller with either one that you're using. I love them both so much for different reasons. Um, I don't feel like I'm compromising when I'm using either one of them, which makes me super happy. I like, I like my stylish strollers. What can I say? Um, so yeah, just to unfold them, we'll put them back up. Whoops. There we go. I bet my gather signs is backwards. 
because that's what happens when you're live. Let's see. Okay, here we go. So on both of them, you're just gonna release the lever. Whoops, get it together, Gabrielle. And here we go. Let's release the lever here. Obviously, Super Lux touches on full strollers. Seriously, so high end. Don't feel like, you know, you're compromising on style, which for some reason is super enjoying to me as a mom. Maybe because I'm always a hot mess and I'm usually like last on the priority list. My strollers still kind of speak for my style that I once had faced. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. It's, um, it's a really cool stroller. I just feel like the Tavo doesn't get talked about nearly enough, so I wanted to just show you it against a favorite. Um, and kind of give you an idea because um, it's really it's really a cool stroller and I can't seem to part with it. I can't part with any of them, let's be honest. But um, but yeah, Sam loves to nap in this, loves the bassinet environment. It comes with this little like newborn insert. I don't know, it's black. It's probably really hard to see. Um, but he's definitely taking some really good naps in here. And he naps awesome in here too. I, my kids love... They love their stroller naps, that's for sure. We are always walking and always on the go. They're both filthy. I honestly need to clean both of them. It's so bad at this point. Like, summer is hard on strollers, you guys. It is special kind of hard. There are like sprinkles, ice cream, everything all over my strollers. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna attempt to do for a little bit. Just make these shine up like new. I hate when my strollers are dirty. Um, so yeah, guys, let me know if you have any other questions. I can hop on again. And um, that's just a quick little comparison of the two. Both are one-handed pushes. Both fit my 11-month-old and my four-year-old comfortably. Um, Will, do you want to ride in a stroller? It's like, no, no, I don't, Mom. But I just wanted to show you guys. Oh, do I have a question? Let me see. Okay, nope, I'm good. But that's that's just a fun little comparison. Like I said, the Nuna is only a single, but it's a great price point. Um, I love the little touches on it. And um, for 2019, they've done even more Lux touches on the Nuna Tavo, which is really cool. And um, if you can hold your own against Abba Baby, which is like kind of the king of strollers, especially in Boston, um, then you're good. You're good to go if that's the case. Um, so yeah, that's just, just a little fun something for you guys. I have like four strollers in my house. Don't tell my husband and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.